Highest paid world leaders, they make hundreds of thousands of dollars every year. In some countries, presidents, prime ministers and heads of government receive high salaries. This list ranks the 10 highest earning world leaders in 2024 according to various sources. The salaries are calculated in US dollars and are approximate. Additional benefits and other compensations vary from year to year due to changes in policies. The highest paid leader among world leaders earns more than $1.6 million a year. This includes annual salary package, 13th month bonus, and other fringe benefits. Singapore Prime Minister Lawrence Wong is the highest paid government leader, earning over $1.6 million a year. His annual salary package includes a 13th month bonus and other benefits. Second on our list is Hong Kong Chief Executive John Lee Ka Chiu with a salary of $695,000. His position was created in 1997 during the handover of Hong Kong from the United Kingdom to the People's Republic of China, replacing the office of the Governor of Hong Kong, who was the representative of the British monarch during British rule. The third place is occupied by Switzerland President Viola Amherd. He earns $530,000. U.S. President Joe Biden is the fourth on our list with $400,000 per year. Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese earns $390,000. But soon, Anthony Albanese will become the third highest paid world leader thanks to a pay rise that pushes his salary above that of U.S. President Joe Biden. It will be the first time in history an Australian Prime Minister earns more than their U.S. counterpart. All federal politicians will get a 3.5% pay rise after a decision handed down by the Independent Remuneration Tribunal. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz earns $367,000 in a year. Other highest paid leaders are New Zealand Prime Minister Christopher Luxon, $288,000, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, $292,000, Chancellor of Austria Karl Niehammer, $370,000, President of the European Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, $364,000. Medvedev urged to prepare for full occupation of Ukraine after signing peace with Kyiv. Russia needs to prepare to seize all of Ukraine after Moscow and Kyiv sign a peace treaty and end the war, said Deputy Chairman of the Russian Security Council Dmitry Medvedev. Even after signing the papers and accepting defeat, the remaining radicals in Ukraine will sooner or later return to power after regrouping their forces inspired by Russia's Western enemies. And then the time will come to finally crush the vermin, Medvedev wrote on his Telegram channel. According to him, at that moment, Russia will have to drive a long steel nail into the coffin lid of the Bandera quasi-state and also destroy the remnants of its bloody legacy and return the remaining lands to the bosom of the Russian land. But Russia's enemies will not go anywhere after this. They will gather strength and wait for a new convenient pretext to destroy our country. We must be ready for future battles to defend the fatherland, Medvedev emphasized. In June, Russian President Vladimir Putin said he was ready to end the war with Ukraine and sign a peace treaty if Kyiv withdrew its troops from the territories of Kherson, Zaporizhia, Donetsk and Luhansk regions, 
not occupied by the Russian army and also refused to join NATO. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky called Putin's proposal an ultimatum and said he was ready to begin negotiations with Moscow tomorrow if Russia withdraws its troops from Ukrainian territory. He wants us to give up some of our occupied territories, but he also wants unoccupied territories. He talks about the regions of our country and is not going to stop. There will be no frozen conflict. Zelensky emphasized. He later acknowledged that Ukraine sees victory in the war with Russia differently than the United States and other Western countries. For the West, he said, victory is preventing Putin from completely occupying Ukraine and putting him in his place, while for Ukraine, victory is a moment of satisfaction. We are grateful that the West did not allow Russia to occupy us completely, but we need justice. The Ukrainian president explained, 